Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the TIGWELD 200EX. It's a 220 volt machine with a 25% duty cycle. It's capable of doing gas tungsten arc welding both in the AC and the DC mode. It's also capable of stick welding in the AC and the DC mode and it operates from 10 to 200 amps. So today we're going to take a look at some of the different welds that we can make using gas tungsten arc welding. So hang out for a few minutes and let's see what it can do. So I set the machine at about 125 amps and made a couple of practice welds on a piece of the 6061 T6 aluminum. I was using some 332 4043 filler metal and I had a 332nd 2% thoriated tungsten. I was using 100% argon gas flowing about 20 CFH. The practice weld showed an even appearance and a good cleaning action adjacent to the welds. So for the weld I was about ready to make, it was an open square butt joint, looked something like this. The weld symbol would have something resembled square butt joint, both sides with a one eighth opening. We also would have seen over here CJP, which stands for Complete Joint Penetration. I fit the joint up with an even gap the entire length. I set the pulses for two pulses per second. I set the AC frequency to 100. I set the percent on time or pulse width to 50. I set the base current or background current to 50 amps. So I kept an even rhythm of adding filler metal to the entire joint and tried to keep the puddle full but not too full. There's the finished weld and I even got good penetration through to the back side. So without gouging out the back I went ahead and flipped over the joint and started to weld with the pulse settings I had applied. By carefully watching and making sure that I could see the bottom of the groove melting and flowing up and out and into the puddle, I was sure that I was getting full penetration. If I had traveled too fast, I would have left a void in the center that would not have been completely filled. As I get to the end, I taper out the amperage and add a little filler right at the end. The completed weld had a good appearance and I cut it open with a saw to check that I had full penetration. So thanks again for hanging out for a few minutes and taking a look at some of the capabilities of the TIGWELD 200EX. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more about this machine and others, take a look at our website, longevity-inc.com. So thanks again for hanging out, and we hope to see you back here real soon.